Hey everyone, time to do some more WordPress theming and today we're going to be talking about how to make a custom comment list in your theme. Now in the last video I kind of left this function really ambiguous, just comments template which somehow did all of this that listed the comments and put a form down there. So today we're going to be exploring that function a bit more. Now the first thing you should know is that it actually calls another file which is in your theme folder um, and that file contains a lot of code that really is I can't really explain it any better than just sort of going through it one by one so I'm just gonna copy it into my theme folder and I'm just gonna go through the lines one by one um, okay so first at the top this is basically saying you can't load comments.php directly that's mainly for post passwording and things like that just copy those lines um, it's it'll just work out better for your theme now the first line here we have PHP if we have comments so basically anything in here won't be done if there are no comments which makes sense first for starters we have a uh, h3 ID and I'm actually gonna change that to class because there's an issue we'll see later um, then we have a function called PHP comments number I think I mentioned that in the post um, template in the last video that it'll the three arguments are when you have no comments one comment or X number of comments represented by the percent so blank comments to the title of the post and then these are comment uh, pagination values if you want to use those um, it's really up to you I prefer not to and there should be a semicolon at the end there I'm sorry I prefer not to use them uh, I just want my comments in a list but you can use them if you'd like now here's really the meat of the function and again let's just take this out of here this is something I commented out but this right here, these three lines are really what powers your entire comment section. UL class comment list, and in that a PHP function WP list comments. Now we're actually going to get into that in a future video about how to style that. But basically what that does is it puts all your comments in an unordered list, um, or an ordered list depending on uh, how you want it. You can custom theme that, I'll talk about later. Then once again we have the uh, pagination. Um, now this else is for the if up here that's saying if there are uh, no comments then it'll here's it takes two options after that is if comments are open then it just leaves it blank but if comments are not open then it'll give you a message saying comments are closed uh, you can try closing comments on one of your posts to uh, test that out but uh, you don't have to this end if this ends this if and this one ends the big if that if we have comments so that basically takes care of listing your comments. Now we have the form down here, which we need to worry about. And again, this is all this code that you're seeing right now. This is without the comments.php template file. So we are actually going to be customizing it some more. Uh, once again, we have the if comments are open, we have uh, a div ID equals respond. That is actually important if you want to have uh, comment replies. Your entire uh, this is going to be the form that lets you comment. Your entire form has to be surrounded in um, in this div ID. So when the, within that div, we have h3 ID equals comments, and that's why I had to change the uh, value before. Um, comment form title. Now this will come in more importantly when we uh, talk into comment when we go into comment replies. The first argument is just what's displayed normally. Uh, leave a reply. The second argument is when you're replying to another comment, it'll say leave a reply to, and then the author of that comment, which is represented by percent %s. So those are the two arguments in that function. Um, let's see, right here we have a div that's cancel comment reply link. Now that is, again, only for comment replies. It won't show up on a regular page, and it'll basically say click here to cancel reply. Now, uh, let's see what we have next is if this is get option comment registration and the user is not logged in you can set it within WordPress whether you want your users to be logged in or not when they comment um, now the themes let you set up both ways um, you can just skip the way you're not using you don't have to style it for both I just prefer to and I want to show you both ways um, so if comment registration is on if you do have to register to make a comment and you're not logged in then it's just gives you a message that says you must be logged in to post and comment and WP login URL that's self-explanatory however if if that's not true then we'll go on to put up the comment form um, so we have form action uh, get the site URL 
uh, and then WP comments post.php. That's just some standard code. Now, here's some more if statements. If the user is logged in, we have logged in as and their user um, information. Same thing. It links to their uh, pr what's called their profile, but really just so they can change some stuff. Uh, user identity is their name. Uh, I'm surprised that it comes out as a variable in WordPress. Everything else is a function. Then we have a logout link at here. Now, if the user is not logged in, then it'll give you the three forms that say what's your name, what's your email, what's your website, uh, which are standard for WordPress. These uh, basically input um, escape attribute. That's a PHP function that just takes out anything that might not be acceptable in a form or in HTML in general. Uh, and you, you can go through this yourself. This is pretty self-explanatory. Now, we'll end that if. So no longer matters if the user is logged in or not. Um, but it does matter if comments are on and the user is not logged in. Okay, so next up we have um, the XHTML, which you can list. You can use these tags and then echo out the allowed tags, which is in a code, which is in a small, which is in a paragraph. That seems a little excessive, but a lot of this code I'm showing you is just copied from Kubrick. A text area here, um, which is where you list your comment, which is that. We're going to be styling that so it doesn't look as bad. And now we have look at this carefully we have a submit button then we have a function called comment ID fields that's not important uh, if you're just doing single comment replies but even then you want to have it there but it really comes into play when you're doing a comment reply um, comment reply to other comments um, otherwise it won't work now we have a function here called do action WordPress has this way and it's mainly used by plugins for the plugins to access the page when WordPress does something and do action basically tells WordPress that it is doing this so I'm not going to go into specifics on that because that really can get um, specific and I don't even know how WordPress works that much um, but just keep it there it's for use by various plugins um, now end form that's just for the whole form and then end if the and if registration required not logged in then we end the div that was the div ID equals respond and then end if the comments are open I believe that's what yes and uh, something I've always thought was funny is in the Kubrick thing it even says if you delete this the sky will fall on your head now if we just save this right now I have rare I haven't really changed anything from the def well apparently I have changed a few things from the default um, but you won't see any difference now if you look at this it's not very good looking. These are uh, the comments I put here. Basically, I just sort of spammed my own site by doing a bunch of replies. Um, now, you notice there's also no reply link. I'll get into that next. Um, so, these replies should be nested in each other. And I'm sure if you look in the source code, they are. I'm not sure. Um, but basically, they all come out looking the same. And I don't think we want that. That doesn't represent uh, our comments section that well. And it doesn't look good not to mention this text area is really big so we're gonna wanna do some CSS styling for starters then we'll work on replies um, now if you notice I'm just gonna open up our header.php file if you notice we have been uh, leeching off Daxter Speed hosting this whole time um, I doubt he cares about that but if you want your own site then you can't really do that unless you're Daxter Speed um, so we wanted to link w to the style sh sh style.css file in our template folder, which is in uh, wp theme slash wp content slash themes slash tutorial. That's a lot to type out, and if you're going to be testing this on your local computer and then uploading it to a server, you're not going to want to have to retype that every time. So I'm going to show you a function called blog info. That basically is WordPress's database of little snippets of information. It's a PHP, so blog info now this has a lot of different uh, arguments you can put in um, you can look them up on the codex I'm not going to tell you all of them but the one we want here is URL and that will just give you the URL to your site oh, I'm sorry stand corrected we want template directory the, the URL will take you to the home page of your site but template directory will take you to wherever the template files are stored so if you don't want to put your CSS file on the uh, ho the home the root directory, you can put it um, in your template directory, and that's better to do. So now if we load this up, 
Right, we get a completely dismembered page because this style.css file, we haven't put anything in it besides the uh, default just telling WordPress what it is. Let me just check the source code to make sure it's uh, right. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, that, that's a typo. I believe it's an underscore, template underscore directory. That's why the source code came out funny. Now, of course, the page itself still won't look good, but you can see here's the path, uh, localhost tutorial, WP theme, WP content themes, tutorial slash style.css. So now we are loading our own uh, CSS file. What I'm going to do between videos is I'm going to take the source code of this page here and I'm going to display it to you in a more readable format so that you can take a look at how it's styled and then in the next video we'll talk about how to use CSS to fix all that. So, see you next time.